Ah, welcome back. I'm finally back doing some work. It's uh, it's been a while, but uh, I'm I've dusted off the tools and I'm doing some more tongue and grooving. Both myself and Rosanna had COVID for Christmas, so that wasn't great. But um, anyway, we, we're we're past that now, and and uh, we're into January, and I've got a few weeks off work, um, so I'm gonna be trying to get as much done on, on Jolene as possible. And to maximize that time, I have organized this shed again where I was painting the van. The van is still horrendously yellow, but uh, it is gonna be painted in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, big shout out to Bill who owns this shed. He's really, really generous letting me use it again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep keep working here and, and get some get some tongue and groove going before uh, before the day is out. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> I turned the camera off there for a little while just because I was uh, in the zone with my dad and look what we've done. We've pretty much finished the roof. Um, I have a little little section here obviously to do, um, but otherwise it's all, all looking pretty good. Really sets the van off. So I am going to leave it there for today and I will revisit you guys and Jolene whenever we are going to start on the walls, which I'm going to do this weekend. So it's good progress. So we haven't been recording at all today, but myself and my dad have been blasting out the walls and um, yeah, it's really coming together now the tongue and groove so um just have to do the corner up there but we're working on this side now so uh yeah we'll keep going All done. So, what I have to do still is just the corner bits here. The corner bits along here. But everything else is, is all done. It's the ceiling and that's the roof, so that's the difference we kind of scored the ceiling to make it look nice and thin that's going to be getting stained and the walls are going to be going white but um that's it we're going to put a put a frame around here so all this will be tidied up progress though it's 8 a.m and i am gonna go and do some work on jolene just wanted to show you this look how nice this morning is it's like really really amazing probably one of the nicest mornings I've ever seen makes it worthwhile getting up when you can see that all right welcome back and I've made some really good progress over the last couple of days. My dad gave me a big hand yesterday to do some tonguing and grooving. So absolutely glorious day here at the shed. I brought some wood over with a questionable, questionable setup here. Um, but I have more, yeah, more wood to, 
to keep working here. So um, let me show you what we got up to yesterday. So we got our tongue and groove finished on the roof pretty much. Also finished it um, on the sides. That's what the other side's looking like now. So what I'm gonna do is, I think today I'm gonna build my countertop here where the cooker is gonna go. I'm also gonna try and get this corner piece finished here. We just didn't do that last night because I pretty much ran out of talent to be honest. I wasn't sure how to do it. So I think I, I had a good think about it and now I'm fairly confident. And what else? Yeah, I think just generally tidy out the van and, and kind of get it ready for, for the floor. We also have some exciting news on the floor. The floor has arrived and here it is. It's, uh, let me see if I can get some more light. It's, um, yeah, it's parquet floor and it's uh, like reclaimed, reclaimed wood. So it's really, really nice, I have to say. It was, it was a little bit expensive, but I think it's gonna be worth it um, in the end. So. Yeah, plenty happening here. I'm gonna try and start with getting these corner pieces finished just so that job is done and dusted. And then I'm gonna move on to the countertop over there. And yeah, keep, keep going at it, I guess. Let's see how much we can get done today. Having a bit of lunch on the go here, made by my mum. Nice of her. And I tried to do the, the kind of the corner bits in the for the tongue and groove, but I just need a hand. I think it's 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 a little bit tricky. Um, so I'm going to leave that one, and I'm going to start making this frame for the for the cooker. are the legs for my counter which I'm gonna start on right now. Now that looks pretty good there. Now, it looks like we may have got it right. This could be the one. That's proper work. Nice. So my yeah, my dad just gave me a hand there to put up some of the some of the corner pieces of the tongue and groove. So um yeah, I'll show you what that looks like now. So it's really starting to come together. Um, and yeah, what I started doing is building this second counter. So I'm gonna, um, I'm actually gonna keep going at that now, even though it's getting dark and try and get it finished. Um, and then, yeah, then take a break. I'm just checking the dimensions of the cooker because I am obviously building this countertop. I just want to make sure it will actually fit. Um, so I'm going to call it for now. I'm going to give this place a quick tidy and then I'll be back in the morning. Morning. It's a lovely, but very chilly day today. The van is running in the background, sorry about the noise. I'm just trying to get it warm in there. It's um, really, really cold today. I have um, started the morning pretty well. I went and bought some kind of staining and painting samples. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna paint up a few little bits and pieces. The main job today is to finish this, uh, this counter section, which, I'm gonna get to in a bit. But um, first I just wanna make a couple of these samples and see, um, yeah, see what it all looks like. Just 
So, I have some paint samples done. They're very, very white. Um, even though they're kind of supposed to be like more like a cream colour. One is called literally cream tea and it's just white <laughs> so it's not great. Um, so anyway I'm going to pause the paint process for a bit and I'm going to get the rest of this countertop finished. If you've been watching this episode and you've been cringing because you've realised what I've done wrong then let me know because I've just realised what I've done wrong. I finally caved and I watched a tutorial on how to how the oven actually fits and I realized that, um, I realized that the, the, the front of the oven obviously doesn't have wood covering it so I, I was kind of like imagining you, you know you make your box in wood and you drop the oven down into it but then of course there's a big piece of wood going across the front of your oven so problem is solved the oven will fit I just take the front beam off so uh, Okay, well that, that's great to use actually because it means that I can then uh, I can take this front part off. So I didn't film just the, the very last bit of that, but I did get my, my countertop installed. It was easier than I imagined in the end with the uh, bar on the front. Um, and I'm actually gonna leave it there for now because I've got some work to do, non-van related work at home. But I um, hope you enjoyed this episode of tonguing and grooving and uh, getting some counters built. Next, we're gonna move on, tongue and groove the door, the side door and the back doors and then also um, uh, yeah, start installing some of the electrical bits, the gas bits, elect uh, the water. So it's really moving along now. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned.